In this video, I'm gonna show you a new way to think about how you store and organize your content, and then using that new system to build out complex workflows where you can more effectively repurpose all of your content so you can get much more out of your content, distribute a lot more content more effectively, and ultimately grow your business. Now, to understand the new way, let's talk a bit about the old way, which is through the lens of where we are distributing the content. So when we create a YouTube video, we create a video, which is the primary piece of content, but then we also create a thumbnail, copy, and a title. But we spend so much time creating all this other content and we don't get a chance to reuse the image, the copy, and the title nearly as much. The same goes for when we create a TikTok or a Reel or a LinkedIn post. We might create a video and the copy that goes with it, but how often do we reuse the copy in other ways? How often do we reuse the copy from our YouTube videos in other ways? How often do we reuse the thumbnails? How often do we reuse the titles? And the same goes for our Instagram images and the copy that goes with those, and then also whatever we might push out on Twitter. So I'm not saying we never repurpose these things, but we don't set ourselves up in an organizational way to treat these pieces of content as if they're actual pieces of content and not second class citizens to the primary piece of content that it was originally created for. And the same thing happened in the content engine database that I created where I store all of my content. Each piece of content gets a unique ID, but each piece of content is linked to copy and image media, and then also a set of folders which stores all of the content within it. So again, when I create a YouTube video, it's all stored in one one row. So accessing the secondary pieces of content that were created becomes a little bit more cumbersome. So the new way of thinking about everything is really using a content pool where each piece of content is individually stored on its own. And I'll walk through an example of how that gets done. And then when we want to publish a piece of content, we can create a bundle, which will be a collection of the pieces of content in the pool, which we can then take and then distribute to social media. But the benefit is we'll get to better utilize all of the content that we create in the content creation chain. So let's take a YouTube video, for example. So for a YouTube video, we'll always record a new video just like I am now, and we'll also always create a new thumbnail. And when we put together this bundle, those pieces of content will map directly into that bundle. But we might take the video and transcribe it with something like Open API's Whisper, and then combine that with ChatGPT to come up with the title and also the copy. And then we can take that title and copy and map that back into the bundle. But here's where things get cool and a lot more flexible. Along the way, we're storing all of this content and keeping it categorized so we can always reuse it. So then I could take that same copy that we used in the YouTube video, and this is just theoretical, but I could take that and run it through ChatGPT, do some slight modifications to it, and get it ready for another post. So I could be preparing a LinkedIn post, and I could bundle together that copy that we just generated from ChatGPT, and then I could take the original image from this thumbnail and create an entirely new piece of content. And of course, I could also create a TikTok and create a new bundle of content, and then I could take that same copy again and use ChatGPT to to create another version of it. And then I could map that copy back into the TikTok post. And then I could take that original YouTube video, have a video editor do some editing on that video, and then ultimately put that back into the content pool where it could then be used in that TikTok bundle here. So without making things too complicated, all we're doing is prioritizing each piece of content as a unique piece of content with value that should be stored and preserved and reused with the same significance that we would normally only provide to the primary video in the old system. And so when you start to think about building out complex workflows where we take an original source recording and record a YouTube video, we'll be able to create much more complex definitions of what content should be produced and distributed from that primary piece of content. And then what actions, whether it's a human or a transcriber or chat GPT, what is the formula that will create the various bundles over here to complete the package and then ultimately distribute it to the final place. So when we use a tool like Airtable to orchestrate and store all the content and build out all the workflows and all the definitions of how all of these bundles get put together and what prompts are building what piece of content for what stage, for what bundle, on what platform, then we can create all sorts of different combinations and options for how this content gets created and distributed and ultimately reused and repurposed to a much greater impact than we've ever been able to do before. And we can do this with a very small team, but because we're taking everything from source material that we actually recorded like this here and just using chat GPT and other tools to transform it into other pieces of content while maintaining our own true voice. It will be very interesting to see how much more effective we are at repurposing content and refactoring it and repackaging it up into other bundles for other platforms in different formats and in different mediums without losing our minds. So as always, I hope you found this video valuable. I think this is really exciting stuff. How can we better store? How can we better organize? How can we create different workflows, different structures, and use automation to scale out our content creation and really repurpose 
more effectively and create a lot more content and distribute it with ease. Let me know what you think in the comments if you have any questions or your thoughts. I'll get back to you right away and I'll see you there.